Do you want to start to use PowerShell with Microsoft 365? Let's learn first steps you need to do. If you are watching this video, there is good chance that you are starting your work with Microsoft 365 and PowerShell. Thankfully, if you are using Windows 10 or Windows 11, PowerShell is already installed on your PC. The only thing you need to do is to use it and connect to Microsoft 365 to manage. PowerShell is powerful command-led environment which allows you to automate and configure services in the Microsoft 365 with predefined way. So if you will need to have the tasks that it requires to be multiplied or repeated, PowerShell will save you a lot of time. And before we will get to the first steps that you will need to do on your Windows PC to make it work, remember, if you will like this video, please leave the thumbs up. And if you want to get the notifications about the new videos, please subscribe to the channel. So first thing you need to do if you want to configure your PowerShell environment to connect to Office 365, you need to set it up or execute it in the admin mode. So go to start, found PowerShell, run it as administrator. This will guarantee that all installations of the modules of the PowerShell required to connect to Exchange, Teams or SharePoint will be possible and system will allow to do that. And before we will get to the execution of the commandlets you need to use in the PowerShell window, in the description of this video you will find the link to the articles that gather them and describe them in details and will cover also possible troubleshooting of the errors you can make. First command that you need to use is to set execution policy for remote sign code that will guarantee that system will allow you to install the PowerShell modules required for the Office 365 and then to use them in connect to the Office 365. Use that commandlet and you are good to install the modules. First, you need to install the PowerShell gallery, which allows you to install all modules for the Office 365 services. As soon as you will install the PowerShell gallery, you are able to install specific modules on your PowerShell environment. Let's start with the SharePoint module. In the linked articles, you will find the commandlets that have to be executed to install modules to Teams, Power Apps, Azure AD and other applications. The next step will be installation of the PowerShell module. And now you are ready to connect to the SharePoint Online using PowerShell. You need to use commandlet connect spo service and use the admin URL for your SharePoint page and this will guarantee to face also multi-factor authentication for your Office 365. Use that commandlet and you will be asked to log in to your Microsoft 365 environment. In the last step of the authentication, you will be also asked to use Microsoft Authentication app to approve your login through PowerShell and you will connect to SharePoint Online. Thanks to these steps, you are connected to the SharePoint Online service using PowerShell. Thankfully, you can get all SP sites on your environment listed right in here by one comment. This is a super powerful solution. Start to use PowerShell, start to connect to all services. In the description, you will find detailed information how use specific commandlets to install modules for the specific applications, plus how to connect to them. Thanks for watching.